In this demo, I will show you how to use the SSH agent. I've been working a lot with public repositories, but often companies have their own private repositories on GitHub or on Bitbucket. If you work with private repositories, you have to put your SSH key as a credential in Jenkins. So what I'm going to do now is often already present because you just need it to log in to your private repository. So I'm going to say that I need an SSH username with private key. My username is almost always git for Bitbucket and for GitHub. And then you enter your private key. So this is the private key. So I'm just reusing the private key that I generated earlier in one of the demos. And the public key is the one that is stored by GitHub and by Bitbucket. So Bitbucket and GitHub, they store your public key. If you haven't done so, you still need to configure that using your settings. And then you have to go to SSH and GPG keys where you can add a new SSH key. And here you put the public key and in Jenkins you put the private key. If you don't have an SSH key yet, you can generate one using the SSH keygen tool on your DigitalOcean droplet. So I have here a temporary key that I just added. And then here I will add the private key for it. I'm also going to give this credential an ID. I'm going to call it GitHub key. So this is my GitHub key that I'll be using. So now if I check out the repository, if I need access now to a new repository, let's go to configure. This is one of the earlier projects that we did. So here I never specified credentials because this is a public repository. If this would be a private one, I would then put the git credential to log in using my git credential. If I use this credential now, Jenkins can also write to this repository because this, because this user has read and write access. But what if you have a Jenkins file and you want to access Git within the Jenkins file, then this credential here is not going to help you. And that's why you have to use SSH agent in those cases. So let's first start with installing SSH agent. It's a plugin. So we go to manage plugin. And it's the SSH agent plugin that I'm going to install. The plugin is now installed. Next, I'm going to add a new job. So it's going to be the SSH agent test. It's a pipeline. This is only the credential that you need to access this repository. So I don't need it. It's, it's fine. It's public. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the credential in the Jenkins file itself. So I have an SSH agent Jenkins file in this repository that I'll be using. I'm going to build now. Let's have a look at this script. It's the SSH agent script Jenkins file. So it's going to run on any node and then it's going to have a stage. And then we say, I want to use SSH agent with the credential GitHub key. And then I'm going to execute an SSH command using Git. So I'm going to do it over SSH to GitHub using this GitHub key. And this is just going to get the last commit ID from the repository. But you could really do anything here because you are over SSH. So you have read write access to this repository. If this repository was private, this is also the way within your Jenkins file to get access to it. So there's a clear distinction between the checking out of your repository. If it's a private repository, you always need to put a credential during the configuration of your job itself. And then once you are within the pipeline, you don't have access to this credential anymore, even if you put one. If you then still want to execute, if you then still want to execute git commands that access your repository, you need to use the SSH agent. The SSH agent also can give you access to other servers using SSH using this credential. So it can give you access to GitHub, Bitbucket, other repositories, or even other servers. So this is really if you want to programmatically access GitHub or Bitbucket 
and you want to execute the git commands within your Jenkins file. This can be very useful for tagging and releasing within your Jenkins file, because in here you could also do git tag and all those kind of things. So let's have a look at the output. So here we see that the SSH agent starts and then the SSH agent is adding your private key so that when you do the git remote command, this private key right here is used to access GitHub. And then we actually get an error here. It says host key verification failed. So remember from the previous lecture, we need to import the host key before this can work. So it's the same story as last time. So let's go to the SSH terminal. Let's go to the terminal first to execute this command to verify the host and then execute this again. So this is something that happens all the time. It's really good that I get this error so I can immediately show you how it works again. When you're logged in, you type sh keyscan of github.com and then this will give you the information that you need and this information you put in the Vardjenkins home sh known host. I'm using those two greater than signs to append to this file. And this will append the host key and now Jenkins will trust github.com and we should have no issues anymore executing our build. And you see now when, when I run it again, this is what was outputted by this git remote command. So why did our previous job still execute successful while there was an error? Well, sometimes you have to use the try and catch mechanisms yourself to make sure that the job fail if a command doesn't execute. Also, when you input SSH keys, make sure that you have no empty lines in your credential, otherwise it will also not work. You have to make sure that you remove all the extra lines at the beginning and at the end of your credential. So now it worked properly. We had the, we executed the git remote command and this was returned. So whenever you want to use credentials, make sure that you use the appropriate plugins to give you access to the credentials within the Jenkins file. Try to really avoid putting credentials on your slave machine, on your master machine yourself. Using the credentials in Jenkins is a much better way to manage your credentials.